Hi guys, thanks for popping by my channel. I am a Chilean Australian lady living life with ADHD and I share a lot of topics on my channel about living life with ADHD and the craziness and the struggles and I like to encourage you and encourage you to encourage others along this crazy journey and um, if that sounds like that's a bit of your gig, um, come and join me with a cuppa or your favorite coloring in and let's have a conversation together so while i'm chatting to you via my video please feel free to comment and share your thoughts with me in return if you haven't yet done please like and subscribe and that way we can be in touch and also it will ideally help to grow my channel because i would love 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 to get the word out there of positivity and encouragement surrounding adhd there is so much negativity i think surrounding the topic of adhd and i just want to change that around a little bit so come join me and i look forward to hearing from you okay so um yeah i saw a post recently that made me oh my goodness it it really tore at my heart um it was a post about a woman with adhd posted it because it was in an adhd type support group and um, she m works with animals and she was meant to have opened a certain gate to let a certain animal out of their like space, which is part of her job. Like it's something she does all the time, but she one day forgot about this gate and didn't discover the animal locked away till about three days later and so she'd forgotten about this animal on the job for like three days and so the animal had not had any fresh food or fresh water for those three days but had had access to some kind of medicine maybe pellets or something that the animal had access to anyway and she was feeling really really down and out about herself and really full of self-hatred and shame and that's really what I want to talk about because those kinds of posts break my heart hey they really do because I've been there I've been there the ADHD shame is real it really is um she was pleading for the group to either tell her that she was just a big fat loser and and to basically insult her she was inviting us to insult her which is so sad or to um to tell her that everything was going to be all right and guess what she got so many responses and most of us said it's going to be all right a lot of us pointed out that the animal is okay um that it was even though it was a near miss the animal is okay and the animal will heal um and some of us were giving her tips on how to avoid this mistake next time there was one or two like judgmental comments saying well are you sure you're in the right job or maybe you should think about whether you should even be looking after these animals which i thought was horrible especially coming from other adhd women <laughs> because we have all been there i'm sorry but we have all been there like how can you just do that kind of thing to another especially when they're down in the dumps and just down rotting by the curbside and you go and just stomp all over them you know and just squish them into the ground and just kick them in the head like just just no Let, let's not do that let's just not do that when someone's like in the thick of suffering you you don't do that come on anyways and at the end of the day the animal will be okay um I think, to be honest, my personal opinion is that I think just in this world, we humans can sometimes forget that that animals are resilient, okay? Animals are resilient. 
they'll be okay. Um, we love them and care for them. And in fact, you know, that really is our, our human um, kind of responsibility, I guess, is to look after them and care for them. Um, but mistakes happen, okay? Mistakes happen. You judges out there, mistakes happen. This has to be understood. It's not hard to understand. <laughs> and um, and I, you know, I, I don't know. I think that some of these judgmental comments were alluding to the possibility of animal cruelty. And it's like, <laughs> it happened once, ladies. It happened once. <laughs> um, anyways. I thought it was pretty unfair of those thankfully few commenters. I don't know, I feel like the world has become so <laughs> judgmental. Oh my goodness, we've gone from one extreme to the other, you know, like in the 60s and 70s it was free love, free love, love not war and you know peace not war or whatever was the the um slogan of of the day and then just 40 50 years later it's like everybody should be held accountable everybody should be held accountable who um is going to sue this person and who is going to um because they should be held accountable where were their parents and that's <laughs> just oh my gosh too much we've just gone from one extreme to the other we really have it is not it's really not a, all free love at the moment <laughs> it's we're gonna hound you down we're gonna hound you down because somebody must be responsible <laughs> anyways um yeah i feel like there's no space um for just being human and the thing is that for those of us with ADHD, this is a hard, hard world to live in because it was already a hard world to live in. It was already a hard world to have grown up in, um, in a world where um, everything is structured in a way that goes against um, the way our brains work um, from making sure to wear every single bit of your uniform correctly to being on time to the seven different classes you have in seven different buildings for the day to then heading out into the workforce and um, also having to be on time every time and just take your two minute break um, and no more than two minutes. Um, yeah, um, and let's not even get into just the daily of bills and, and all those deadlines and, and having to remember to eat three times a day and, and on top of that, make sure you eat well um, and remember to drink your water and like all these little things that are so easy for most people are actually really hard for those of us with ADHD. And we might not be going, oh, this is so hard for me. I just don't know how I'm going to drink all that water in one day. We're probably not doing that. We're probably getting to the end of every single day, about to fall asleep and going, oh, I only drank one or two glasses of water today. For like six months in a row, you know, like it's just that that's that's what I mean when when I say that it's difficult for us with ADHD. These things are difficult for us with ADHD. Um, not because we might be struggling in the moment, but because we struggle in the aftermath, just like this poor lady. She just forgot about opening that gate like it happens. And I don't know how long she's been on the job, but it doesn't matter. It almost does not matter how long she's been on the job. Something like this was bound to happen if she's got ADHD. It's just the sad truth of it. Um, I just hope that her bosses were going to be understanding and accommodating for her. So, 
what to do with these kinds of things you know I I have a little short video elsewhere on my channel where I say that this what I'm about to share again it's that I think that the best way to um oh my goodness sorry I just realized <laughs> Here's the microphone, and I've kind of had it really far away from my mouth, so I don't know if you've heard me properly or not. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, okay, so here's a tip, right? Here's a tip. I really believe that the, like, well, I guess because it works for me, right? We're all different. You don't, you haven't met... You don't meet one person with ADHD and met them all, right? You, so different things are going to work for different people with ADHD, different women with ADHD, um, different people with different types of ADHD. I have ADHD inattentive, um, which is quite common in women. So this is the tip, and hopefully this helps you as well if you're in this kind of situation. Um, pair up similar tasks and this is what I said to this lady I said to her are there other doors even cupboard doors that you have to open at some point in your work shift and could you pair up the opening of that gate with the opening up of those other doors even if it means okay now this is this is key right this is key for us with ADHD even if it means that you then have to walk across the way to do it to open up that gate then just do that I said it may not make logistical sense but us with ADHD us ADHDers just work differently and we just kind of need to support ourselves in that way so I want to say the same to you. If you're struggling with something, something that you keep forgetting, like me with drinking water, I mean, that's a common one, I believe, for most of us with ADHD. Um, I've, um, at times, just filled up a whole bunch of water bottles and placed them all over the house so that every time I walk past one, I see it and then I challenge myself to take some sips. Because we can see the water bottle, right? And then just keep walking by because it's like, nah, this water bottle is just going to distract me from my thing that I'm focusing on right now. Um, but I, I take it as a challenge. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you want to you wanna interrupt me? I'll, 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 I'll win you. I'll win over you any day. I'm going to drink you up and I'm going to still go along and finish my project that I'm focusing on. Hands. Um, any time that I grab a cloth to wipe down a surface, I then wash my hands. I just, I don't know, it is a little bit of a silly little habit, but hey, that's my habit. And so I have paired washing my hands up with then drinking some water because the tap's already running, you know. <laughs> so that's, that's what I want to share today um, to help us, first of all, to avoid um, mistakes like those that we make very regularly but also I want to say the ADHD shame is real we've all been there but be kind be kind to yourself please please know that like we've all been there you've got like a a, a thousand of us surrounding you you know in ADHD spirit world um <laughs> so to speak you know like we're there like um, having been through that um, a horrible feeling and, and um, looking down on ourselves and feeling terrible and just know we've all been there. You don't have to stay there. Just pick yourself back up and keep going and love on you and forgive you. Um, we have to be our own best friends. We just have to. Um, just pick yourself up. Go and have a day of all your favorite things um, to recharge and then wake up the next day and go, it's a brand new day. It's a brand new day and I'm going to be all right today. So, 
yes, everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. And you'll be all right. Okay. Bye.